and tubers welcome back for another adventure this is that uh, basement rat ATC 200 M motor probably like an 83 vintage um, I'm not sure where I got this motor from it's been floating around the horde for quite a while and we went through it and it seems more or less sound and what I want to do is give it a bench test so this is kind of a how to do a bench test on a motor kind of thing first of all you want to make sure that it's more or less complete right so I got to put the ignition in here and given that I have to put that in I got to kind of time it up so I spun the flywheel around such that the top dead center on that and hopefully you guys could see a little bit of a line lines up with that heavy line and that's going to take you a few minutes with a, a flashlight to get that all lined up so you want to get it to that point and you also want to make sure that you know your valves are loose so we did that so we're at tops top dead center we could install this um, if as you're installing this if you're turning it more this way you're advancing the spark and if it, you're turning it this way you're delaying the, the spark so just to kind of go through that um, you can take a moment use a wire to make sure your pistons all the way up by the way this particular guy if somebody was in here before you they can actually install this upside down. See how you have a magnet here and no magnet there. They can actually install it upside down, which puts your spark at the wrong place. It'll be trying to pull your arm out of socket as you go to start this, especially if you hit it with starting fluid, but it's not going to start. One other thing, make sure your advancer is free, right? If your advancer hangs up in the advanced position, right it's gonna hurt you so um, all right let me start putting it together right not hard to do get those two out put that there um, put the recoil back on put this back on right put the caps back on the valves right the um, the couple of things I check, particularly the timing, right, that's, that helps it so that things go quicker. One other thing to test, get your meter out, give a quick check of this guy, right? This is a, uh, out of a parts box that was floating around, and I made sure that the resistance was about 35 to 40 ohms. The really good ones are... 28 29 ohms but 35 to 40 ohms works so um i know my pulse generator is good there's nothing worse than trying to get an engine started and you know you have a dead pulse generator your timing's 180 out right um all the mistakes that could be made that will just stop you uh dead so i put the ci plate on here the um, pulse generator plate and I have a portable CDI box batteries 12 volts worth right two layers there um, CDI cool bat switch and a coil um, I have a video up a portable CDI box 12 volt DC CDI box uh, just take a look for those under my channel if I remember I'll try to put the link you guys could build one of these you hook one wire to the pulse generator and a couple one of the wires for this thing that goes to ground in the circuit and the other one goes to the case so supposedly it's all hooked up and I'll show you the spark in a second so hopefully you guys will be able to see the spark So hopefully you guys saw that. We're getting closer to starting it. 
Last but definitely not least is a carburetor. This is one of those PZ27 clones. Right, we just bolted it right up here. We're hoping for good things that this thing fires right up. Oh, need to get me a throttle too. So I'm gonna have to dig around for that. I might just cheat and uh, put a wire on it or set the idle high. You know what, that's probably what I'm gonna do. I'll probably just set the idle high. Then I don't have to put a, uh, a throttle on it. Okay, um, we're ready for a cold start. While I was setting up things and so forth, I did put oil in it and I did turn it around a bunch of times. And I'm using 40 to 1 gas mix in it. So hopefully all those things make it happy. I turn the idle up. I'm going to try it without starting fluid. Chokes on. Gas is in. See the eye box is on. She should be ready to go. Let's hope for the best. <laughs> you gotta love that so starting up a motor like this <laughs> is sketchy first of all you notice I put the cover on right the last thing you want to do is reach your hand over and discover that thing spinning it's kind of hard on the fingers the other reason why you want to put this cover on sometimes they leak oil if the bolts aren't all the way in so get that cover on secondly you notice my hand was over here uh, the exhaust started to get hot. That's why you kind of saw it move, right? Um, normally, after they start, the first bunch of uh, beats, it'll be running kind of slow, but then the RPM will start creeping up, as you guys noticed. Um, so I was going to try to turn down the idle, but I wasn't successful at that. I kind of have a vacuum leak up here, not having the cable in does that. So when I turned off the choke it very quickly just died out um i think you guys were able to see i'm not exactly sure but it sounded good right it had sounded it was timed right it, it sounded it had that the uh kind of more of a rumble right not the tingy sound more of a rumble which is a good sound that means the timing's good and you guys also noticed there wasn't a lot of smoke coming out of it which is good i gotta get this cover put that on there but i'd say that this this motor is a 100 percent success and it really needs to get put in its new home so its new home will be this 200m or the other one i bought this spring last spring and I guess it would be that one over here under that pile of junk. Anyway, um, I bought a two. I bought this pair of 200Ms. Uh, they both had uh, blown head gaskets, as I recall. Both low compression, both uh, blown head gaskets. So we got one of them running, and that was good. The other one had a Wisco piston and a hot cam in it, and it it was just. The kind of engine that wants to tear the arm, tear your arm out of the shoulder socket and throw it across the room. So uh, I don't like that kind of engine so much. If I was back to the days where I was racing, I would say, "Oh yeah, that's a that's a good engine. It gives me that edge over the other 200 cc models." But um, homie, don't race no more. So there's no reason fighting that kind of recoil starter, right? Who needs to get uh, beat up by a machine so um, that's where it's gonna go it'll be in nice basement warm dry storage until then 
Uh, hopefully I'll get that TRX 250 out of the garage soon and uh, get that engine swapped and this thing could go in for an engine swap. Anyway, in the meantime, I want to thank you all for dropping by to watch and comment and subscribe. Sorry for the weak voice. I, uh, I got a bit of a plague here. I must have brought it back from Pennsylvania with me. So, feet down, heads up, get out and enjoy each and every day. You don't know how many you're going to get, so have some fun. Bye now.